we know that gravitational force between two bodies depends upon two factors they are number one mass and number two distance because according to newton's law of gravitation the gravitational force between any two bodies is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers it means if mass of the bodies are more then gravitational force between them will be more and if distance between two bodies increases then gravitational force between them decreases to understand the relation of this mass and distance with gravitation let's go through one numerical problem what change occurs in the gravitational force between two bodies when mass of each is made double and distance between their center is halved calculate there is no any number no any numerical value but you have to say what changes occurs in this condition okay we can start like this let's say this is a mass m1 and the mass of first body we can say m1 this is another mass m2 and mass of second body we are considering as m2 and this is the distance between their centers which is d and distance between them is taken as d now what happens then according to newton's law of gravitation we can say that gravitational force f equal to g m1 m2 by d square this is equation number one this is normal equation which can be established easily with these symbols okay but the condition is different what is told in the question when both the masses are doubled m1 is if doubled then we will have 2 m1 in place of m1 m2 is if doubled we will have 2 m2 in place of m2 and d is halved distance between them is halved means not d d by 2 if it is so we can say like this when mass is doubled and the distance between them is halved then the gravitational force can be written like this f nu new gravitational force will be g in place of m1 i am writing 2 m1 in place of m2 i am writing 2 m2 and in place of d i am writing d by 2 and d by 2 whole square now we can multiply 2 with 2 and we'll have f nu equal to 4 times g m1 m2 in denominator we have d by 2 square it means d square by 2 square means 4 now if 4 is taken up then we'll have finally f nu equal to 16 times g m1 m2 by d square because 4 multiplies 4 and makes 16 okay it can be considered as second equation now what i'm going to do we are comparing equation 1 and 2. There are some similarity. In case of equation 2, g m1 m2 by d square can be replaced by this f if we compare. That's why, what can we say? Comparing equation 1 and 2, f nu is equal to 16 times f. It means we can write, therefore, new gravitational force is 16 times greater than the old gravitational force. This is an example in which when mass changes and distance between two bodies changes then what will be its effect on gravitational force can be calculated by this way making two equations okay this much for today